Want to DIY abstract art for less? I show you how to add texture for that luxury art look. It's time to try our hand at trending joint compound wall art. I recommend joint compound because it's forgiving, unlike plaster, which dries very quickly. We are going to make arch artwork. Are you ready? Let's do it. If you've been intrigued by the arched motif that has been growing in popularity, but want it to suit your space, let's make a custom art piece together. For this project, you're going to need a 36 inch by 48 inch tri-fold foam presentation board, painter's tape, a square notched trowel or other patterned spreader tool, a spatula, all-purpose joint compound or multi-purpose filler, satin or flat spray paint, and foam adhesive or other removable self-adhesive. I have opted to use foam board because it's affordable, lightweight, sturdy, and it has a smooth surface. Further, it's offered in various sizes, so I was able to find a 36-inch tall foam board at Target. It's awesome because the trifold display board allows my piece to be even sturdier and thicker. Step one, if desired, sketch design on the surface with a pencil. Step two, they wanted to cut an arch shape on the top of my piece to mimic the arch in my inset art niche. Step three, get plastered. Spread on the joint compound in an even layer like you're frosting a cake. You can't screw it up because it's very forgiving. Use a heavier hand if you want a thicker texture or apply a thinner layer if you want a whispery fine texture. Step four, take your tool with a patterned edge and begin making your design with smooth movements. Step five, let the joint compound dry overnight. Drydex provides a patented dry time indicator because it goes on pink and dries white. An awesome feature. Apply a top layer of acrylic paint or spray paint. Even though this dries white, I went ahead and sprayed mine white so that it would have a more crisp result. I loved this line texture so much that I think I'll make a coordinating duo for my adjacent master bedroom. I want it to be raised off the wall to offer depth so I'm going to add additional foam from a multi-pack. This will make my art three-ply in order to better pop. What do you think of this experiment in imperfection? Now I want to show you how you can make custom foam board textured art and frame it too. This DIY textured art set was too, too fun. I invite you to make custom art for your bedroom. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. After all, it's a low risk location for DIY art since you or your partner are the only ones to see it. I had a couple of cans of paint that inspired the change that I made to the design that I had come up with. So let me show you. I came across these at Walmart in the clearance section. There's Coral Rose and Magnolia Blush. I put the foam board up there so that I could get a sense for it. And now I'm going to go in with my box cutter and just cut it to size. As with my arched piece of DIY textured art, I first sketched the design and then I'm going to go in with my joint compound and begin creating my design. Tips. This tool works really well for refining any edges so that you can create more texture in areas where it was left off. If you don't like your work, scrape it off and begin again. The joint compound is very forgiving. Start with thin layers. If it's too thick, it'll take forever to dry and may crack. Make smooth motions like frosting a cake. If you don't like your results, allow 10 to 15 minutes and apply another layer to change it up. You can change up the color during the process by adding your choice of acrylic paint to the compound or make the color switch after by using matte or ultra flat spray paint. To confirm if the compound is dry, feel the back of the canvas. If you aren't working on a canvas, try the edges so as not to disturb your central design. 
Don't forget, you can create a trash to treasure piece by applying this technique over top of an old art piece. If you're handy, you can create a wooden frame as a border. Let's build a custom modern frame for a more high-end finished look. Head to the hardware store and purchase your ideal wood pieces. You'll need a staple gun and staples as well. At home, lay out the boards, creating an outer border so you can measure. Cut them down to fit the outer edges of your foam board art. Decide if you want to trim them to make the frame narrow, or if you want to leave the width to achieve a shadow box frame look by having the art inset. Optionally, paint or stain your wood frame pieces. I left my natural. Remove excess joint compound or spackling that will prevent a snug fitting frame. Use a staple gun to secure the side pieces. And there you go, you have the frame. The finest frame ever built. Thank you, sir. You are most welcome. Hang your custom framed wall art. Stand back and admire your hard work. Tips. To save time and hassle, ask a hardware store associate to pre-cut your boards. Consider adding industrial strength glue to bond the art with the frame. Additional backside supports may prevent bowing if you create a thin wood frame like mine. You can take excess foam board and score it to create an accordion fold to place behind the art. If the foam board art didn't dry flat due to too much medium, buy foam board pieces you can cut and glue to the back to flatten the appearance when it's pressed against the wall. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to make art. Have you jumped on this joint compound art trend too? Hopefully, I've shown you how easy it is to do. Now it's time to check out these other DIY home decor projects like my shower curtain wall art.